here with uh, Dr. Buddhima from NIBM. Dr. Buddhima, um, as a person who has been uh, closely working with ICTA, what is your uh, thoughts on uh, Spiral Asian Demo Day today? Well, actually, it's been a fantastic experience to be a part of the Spiral Asian Demo Day. And I think we saw great, great ideas that can really make a great difference in Sri Lanka in this program today. And a fantastic program organized by ICTA. And hats off to ICTA for organizing such a great program to empower the youth of the country. To empower the youth of the country to really get to that level of planting the seed of entrepreneurship and to become great people that become a benefit to the nation especially as a nation who has been in, as a part of an economic crisis I think uh, these sort of programs are really beneficial for the country and thanks to you all for organizing such a great program and of course me uh, as an academic working at the National Institute of Business Management it's been a fantastic experience to be a part of uh, this great event and I look forward to joining hands with you all especially in our uh, university we also do have such entrepreneurship programs and we conduct uh, different seminars workshops for the students and also we have a module an important leadership module as a part of the undergraduates journey uh, called the critical enabling skills and training uh, uh, program uh, the certificate of leadership which they eventually get after the second year of their studies at NIBM which has an important entrepreneurial component a module which we have partnered with UNDP as well uh, where we work on a SDG project where the student really moves to the point of planting the seed of entrepreneurship so I look forward to partnering in the future with ICTA uh, to see where we can take our NIBM entrepreneurs to the next level uh, especially with uh, such a uh, spiralation demo day in the future as well as an academic uh, as, as a uh, from your point of view what do you think about the current situation in the startup ecosystem in Sri Lanka? Well, I think a uh, lot of people are doing a lot of things, especially uh, organizations like Slascom, ICTA are doing a lot to empower the youth of the country. So I think such programs like I told you, Spiralation Day, Demo Days like this, uh, where our students can actually come forward and pitch their ideas uh, to investors really will help them to get to that seed funding level where they can then take the next steps to move forward in their careers and uh, I believe also on the other hand especially uh, us being women it is our duty and responsibility to empower many more women out there uh, also to get into entrepreneurship of course we saw I think during COVID a lot of women uh, did get into entrepreneurship and they are doing great fantastic and recently I was at one of the Slascom events and uh, we had great uh, entrepreneurial girls who uh, did such demos and we actually mentored those programs as well uh, so, so fantastic I think this sort of programs should continue definitely and I think the government of Sri Lanka also should invest a lot in research and development uh, where especially me as an academic what I would like to say is uh, a lot of research is being done but the research sometimes get ends, uh, ended up uh, with a thesis or a research publication hardly does that student really move forward uh, to you know get into this journey of entrepreneurship but I think such programs will definitely empower them to become uh, great entrepreneurs breaking barriers breaking boundaries and breaking the glass ceilings that we speak of. That's really uh, nice to hear from you. Uh, and uh, thank you so much Dr. Buddhima for joining us today and uh, having this conversation with us. Thank you so much for having me and I wish ICTA all the very best for the great work you do. Thank you so very much uh, to you all, uh, Sachindra, Abhit and the team for inviting me. Thank you so very much and looking forward to join hands with you all in the future events as well. Thank you. Thank you so much.